everybody. I'm Adrian Singh, founder and CEO of Gold Ore and the inventor of the Mach Reactor technology. Welcome to my presentation entitled Extract More Answers with the Mach Reactor. And so let me introduce you to the Mach Reactor, next generation durable self-aspirating cavitation technology. Well, not entirely correct, but some of you may be more familiar with the term shear reactor technology. The Mach reactor is marketed through gold ore and has worldwide patent protection. I'm going to show you how you can attain flotation euphoria with the Mach, higher grades, higher recoveries, lower mass pools for your flotation operation. I'm also going to show you how you can boost your leach for your gold operation, faster kinetics and higher recoveries with reduced reagent consumptions. This roadmap lays out the structure of my presentation. So let's start with the economics. This information is summarized from one of my gold clients. For their operation, a 2% incremental recovery improvement translates into a monthly incremental revenue of circa 440,000 US dollar. And yes, there's incremental cost, such as the rental of the Mach reactors and electricity, but an incremental profit of circa 386,000 US dollar is still realized payback on installation is a mere two weeks. Similarly, the Mach economics for a PGM flotation concentrator is equally impressive. For a client that does tailings retreatment, a 6% incremental recovery improvement is realized, translating into incremental profit of 178,000 US dollar and payback of the installation in under two months. This is why you should be interested to learn more about the Mach and how it could assist you with your operation. And just in case you may be thinking that this is all laboratory hype without practical application, here is the current track record of the Mach. It's an interesting mix of PGM flotation and gold leaching applications. On the PGM side, we do flotation preconditioning ahead of flotation banks, recirculation directly on flotation cells, and external aeration for flotation columns. The feed material to the PGM plants vary from ROM material to tailings retreatment to PGM from chrome tailings, where the Mach excels on the more difficult to treat oxidized materials with high chrome levels. Similarly, on the gold side, the feed material varies from ROM material to tailings retreatment material and also includes semi refractive flotation concentrates where we usually see the largest incremental recovery, uh, incremental recovery benefits of between six and 10%. Let's put the muck into perspective when one considers gas injection devices in the industry. Of lowest efficiency are lances and sparges, and at the pinnacle of highest efficiency are cavitation devices that employ bubble implosion, such as the mach to which there is no direct rival as will unfold from this presentation. At the heart of the Mach reactor are cavitating bubbles that generate temperatures of up to 5,500 degrees Celsius and pressures of up to 1,000 atmospheres. For leaching application, this promotes chemical reaction that would otherwise not be possible. And in a flotation application, the seeding of cavitation bubbles directly onto hydrophobic particles improves flotation attachment. In the Venturis of the Mach, we have the peculiar concept of particles giving birth to bubbles. The animation that you're about to see explains the phenomenon of cavitation in a Venturi tube. You will see how through Bernoulli's principle, the instantaneous pressure in the throat of the Venturi decreases with increasing liquid velocity until the pressure drops below that of water vapor pressure at which point tiny water vapor cavities form on hydrophobic impurities in the water and implode as they move further down the venturi to areas of higher pressure. Let's watch.
Arc reactor employs a series of multi-stage cavitating venturis with external gas injection between the venturis to achieve the desired result on the ore, be it improvements with flotation, leaching, cyanide destruction, or any other hydrometallurgical operation that could benefit from improved mass transfer. Well, the proof of the pudding is in the eating, isn't it? And here we show how the tremendous energy from cavitation is used to break particles, as evidenced by the increasing proportion of the minus 25 micron fraction with increasing Mach passes. This phenomenon can be used to good effect to remove passivation and oxidized layers, and also to improve liberation for both flotation and leaching application. The video that you're about to see is an excellent illustration of cavitation. An electrode is used to generate an unstable cavity in a drop of water. The unstable cavity collapses and implodes multiple times as it travels through the drop of water. The effect is similar to hydrodynamic cavitation in a venturi. Let's watch.